Welcome to Sparks of History, where Jewish history and world history meet. We are extremely pleased to have with us today Professor Gil Troy. Professor Troy earned his BA, MA, and doctorate from Harvard University. Professor Troy is an acclaimed American presidential historian, popular commentary on politics, Zionism, and many other issues. Professor Troy has served as professor of history at McGill University in Montreal and has been a Shalom Hartman Center Research Fellow and helped found the Center's Engaging Israel program. Professor Troy has authored and edited numerous books, including, but not limited to, The Zionist Ideas, Visions for the Jewish Homeland, The Age of Clinton, America in the 1990s, Moynihan's Moment, America's Fight Against Zionism as Racism, History of American Presidential Elections, the Reagan Revolution, Hillary Rodham Clinton, Polarizing First Lady, the Rise and Rejection of the Presidential Couple Since World War II, and See How They Ran, The Changing Role of the Presidential Candidate. And today we will be discussing the fascinating and hopefully very relevant topic of American presidents and their views on Zionism. Professor Troy, thank you so much for joining us today. Appreciate it very much. Honored to be with you, and thanks for the nice introduction. Thank you. Um, going all the way back to President Number One George Washington, um, Washington's historic visit and letter to the Touro Synagogue um, were historic for American Jewry. Did Washington hold any opinions regarding the Jewish people and their rights to the Holy Land? George Washington, like so many Americans, was deeply steeped in the Bible. And the analogy of the Jewish people being enslaved and leaving slavery and then finding freedom, dignity, um, and ultimately democracy was very important in the minds of all the, um, the founding uh, fathers. So while he didn't speak that much about the Jews, because the Jews were a very, very, very small minority at the time, uh, he definitely had a kind of orientation toward that story and a kind of instinctive support, as we'll see from many of the presidents, for the Jews as kind of fulfilling the same prophecy that they believe the American Revolution fulfilled. When I was in graduate school, I was uh, I had what I called the Chaim Solomon obsession, because when I was in Solomon Schechter School of Queens in fourth grade, I was Chaim Solomon. And we all grew up knowing that the American Revolution was saved by the great financier of the American Revolution, Chaim Solomon. And I would go to the top American historians and I would take any American history book I found and always go to the index and look, Chaim Solomon, Chaim Solomon, never found it. And I would stymie these historians. Why is Chaim Solomon so important, they would say. And I'd say, it's less important what he did for the American Revolution as the fact that he was a part of the American Revolution. And so we Jews are always trying to figure out where do we fit into the story. And as you'll see, there's a kind of proportion here. Sometimes we're not that central. But nevertheless, the fact that we've been a part of the story from the very start is very important. 